Right, hello, welcome guys to this uh, tutorial video on using Nmap to enumerate ports that are open or closed on your network. Uh, we can use Nmap to do a variety of things, including identifying uh, the operating system, the ports that are open, um, uh, the services that are running on those ports. So we're going to be taking a look at that in this tutorial video. So in this tutorial video, um, you will need your Kali Linux machine and also your Windows Server Lab machine. Any Windows machine will be fine or, you know, you could use an Ubuntu or a different machine. But for this exercise, you'll be having access to your Kali Linux and Windows Server Lab machine. Uh, as mentioned, you should have to receive instructions on how to set up your network environment. But I'm just going to be going straight to this, straight away using my VMware um, setup. So I've got my Kali Linux and I've got my Windows Server Lab machine. If we open up a CMD here, one way you can use to find up an IP address on a computer is to log into that computer, go into command prompt and type in um, IP config in the case of a Windows machine. And I can see the IPv4 address of my Windows Server Lab machine is 192.168.219.137. So you can see that is the IP address. Um, if I go to my Kali Linux and I do an if config, also, I can see the IPv4 address is same 192.168.219.136. Uh, so these two machines are literally on the same local area network. So it means they can talk to each other. So, however, if I want to find out the IP address of this machine, this Windows Server Lab machine, let's imagine for a second, I haven't got the username and password to log into this Windows Server Lab machine. And I want to enumerate from the outside, I want to find out what the IP address of this machine is because in order to use Nmap uh, at least you need to know the IP address of the machine you want to scan so you want to use Nmap to scan for ports that are open services that are running on a specific device we need to know the IP address so I can simply just go in now and use this IP address to perform my scan but let's say you know like I said we don't have the username and password to log into the Windows 7 lab machine how can we enumerate that so what do we do we can use an ARP tool, uh, ARP protocol tool, or ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. Uh, we can use that, we can send an ARP request to all the computers on our local area networks that are powered on. So all of the live hosts, we can send an ARP request. And every single uh, host on that specific local area network would have to then send us back their IP address and also their MAC address. So that's one way we can use to know that. So we can send an ARP request and they have to respond. So on your Kali Linux, there's a tool called Net Discover, Network Discovery, Net Discover. And this is a tool that we're going to be using to find out the IP address of the Windows 7 uh, remotely. So if you do a dash H for help, we can see what this tool is about. Uh, it tells us NetDiscover, the version, is for active and passive ARP uh, reconnaissance tool. And uh, we can see the different flags. So I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to run this Net NetDiscover. But before I do that, I'm going to first of all cop get the IP address of my Kali machine uh, because we would need that. And then I would clear my screen and do NetDiscover dash r which is the range paste the ip address now i'm going to remove the last all state and replace that with a zero so i'm telling netdiscover to begin with a zero that is the network address and scan for devices all right that are on this 192.168.219 network okay i'm going to give you a cidr of 24. Uh, I'm beginning with a 24 because this is a class C IP address. So I'm going to give it a 24 and tell it to use that instead. So let's see if it finds uh, devices on this network, given this network address. So I'm going to click on this. Depending on your setup, this could take long. This could be quite quick. So we can hear it says finished. We don't get any sort of response back. So what we need to do now is if I just do a control C, I'm going to go back in here and change the last the CIDR to 16. The 16 is going to tell NetDiscover to, to not just scan this uh, last octet, but to begin the, the scanning from the octet before. So it's going to be scanning um, the 16 bits, the last 16 bits on this IP address. 
so I'm going to put this in this might take a while all right so I'm going to pause the video and come back so eventually after some few seconds uh, the, the scanning is still going on but we can see now we do have an IP address uh, 192.168.219.137 which is guess right the IP address of the Windows 7 so without even logging in into this machine let's say it's powered on but we didn't log in we don't have the username and password we can use NetDiscover to enumerate for devices that are, that are uh, live host on our network using NetDiscover and here we can get the IP address now you might ask well Alex what is this IP address anyway with dot two now the dot two um, is the broadcast is the address of our gateway is the address of our gateway so this is not actually an IP address uh, for a, a specific machine this is just the gateway the network gateway that uh, is on our local area network so you might see an IP address ending with a dot one or dot two um, know that those are not actually hosts and this last IP address here is the uh, the broadcast address so you have a network address you have a broadcast address however this 137 one is actually the IP address of a specific host so the scan has finished as you can see we have the gateway and we have the broadcast address all right these are no host this is the only host that is powered on our network as you can see on my uh, VMware workstation uh, so this is the IP address of my Windows 7 lab machine so now that we have this we can begin scanning using nmap so you can type in the command nmap uh, nmap also has a help menu if you want to go through that to understand uh, the different kinds of scan you can perform you can perform uh, a simple list scan uh, ping um, you can perform DNS scan you can perform different types of uh, same TCP team scans, UDP scans, you can perform all different kinds of scans. So I'm going to be using a few of them, like the OS detection. Um, we're going to be doing an aggressive scan, and uh, you can also use it to evade firewalls. Uh, you can also output the the scan into a specific file. So you can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, but example is uh, nmap and you can use that to scan a specific IP address all right you can scan an entire network uh, you can scan a specific port so there are different examples of your netcast so we're going to do some of that in this scenario so nmap and I'm just going to you know, not put any flags and just scan this and let's see what the result is so depending on um, the services this could be very quick so we can see here we've got results but 80 which is running http is open https 443 we can see all of the open ports there are some ports here that are classed as unknown however we can see ones like mysql https http proxy uh, this tells us that there is a web server at least there are web services running on that windows machine that we scanned all right um, that we have an HTTP proxy on port 8080. So this is a basic scan, the least basic scan that you can perform. Now this scan is just scanning the first, you know, 1024 ports. It's not scanning the entire IP address range. So there might be some IP addresses um, that are that are that are not in the first 1024 ports. Um, so we might not see them. So moving on, we can now do something like uh, nmap dash o and the dash o uppercase would enumerate the operating system it will also perform a normal scan like we did before as you can see but this time around we get some additional information and it tells us that the target which is this guess right is a windows 7 lab machine so now we have an ip address from an ip address we can use nmap to discover not just the ports that are open but also we can use it to identify the operating system so now we have an idea of the operating system uh, that specific ip address host is running another one we can do 
is to do the dash p dash. Now the dash p dash is going to scan the entire um, 65,000 ports. All right. So if you remember in any of your networking class, you should have been informed or told that, you know, the entire maximum number of ports about 65,300 and something. Okay. So that's what this end is going to scan the entire 65,000. So this will take a bit more longer than a normal scan, which scans the first 1,024 ports. So I'm going to click on enter here and this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once this is done. Or what we might do is rather than uh, wait around, we can just open another terminal and try some other scans. All right. So we can do nmap again. Uh, this time around, we do what we call an, ag an aggressive scan. So we're going to do a dash A. Uh, where are we? A dash A paste the IP address okay now an aggressive scan I'm going to tell you the difference let's do a normal scan and open another tab and just paste in the IP address okay remember in that normal scan which was very quick we just got the open state of the port so this is the port number all right it's TCP um, open and we got the service it doesn't tell us more about, you know, if what type of, you know, it is an HTTP, but what version of HTTP is. It doesn't give us some additional information on the service. So if we go to the aggressive scan, the aggressive scan tries to do more and give us more information than just telling us the post is open and giving us a basic uh, idea of the kind of service that is running. Um, so you can see here, the dash p dash says not shown the old 65. 65,522 closed ports. So uh, it's done the scan, but it tells us that some ports are just closed and it's only telling us the ones that are open. So in this case now, um, if we had ports that were that were more than the first 1,024, we would see them if they were open in this sort of scenario. So that is the dash P dash. I would advise you in your uh, sort of coursework or to always run the dash p dash flag all right so that you're not uh you might there might be some services that are running on ports that the first simple scan wouldn't find so now let's uh this is the aggressive scan that's going to take a while so we're going to leave the aggressive scan we can compare the results with the normal scan now having said this the dash p dash clear screen you can combine flags so don't limit yourself to just say dash p dash. You can do a dash p dash and you can also combine that with your dash o. So this is going to not just perform uh, a full port scan. It also combine it with um, an OS detection scan. All right. So you can do multiple flags. So it is uh, a good idea for you to familiarize yourself with netcap, play around with the flags, run a dash p dash flag, and you can combine that with this. Now the aggressive scan has come back and we can see the difference. When we did the normal scan, this is all we got, but with the aggressive scan, we get more information. It tells us the version of the Microsoft uh, HTTP server, IIS, HTTP 7.5. Uh, we, we get version of the SSL, telling us it's running some sort of Apache uh, web server on port 443 we get host names um, it tells us more about the mysql that this is a, Mar a maria database unauthorized it tells us more about the port http as well that this is running some sort of apache um, php um, web application so we can see here that we are getting more information it also goes ahead uh, to tell us more about the operating system, telling us this is some sort of a Windows uh, machine. So uh, we have details, uh, trying to guess exactly what type of operating system is, but you can see here, it tells us it's, it's running some sort of Windows. It might be a 2008, 10, or 7, uh, but it's, it, it's pretty close to telling us that, you know, it's a Windows machine anyway. So you can see we get more information here. So you might want to do an aggressive scan, combine that with a full port scan, as you can see, 
a dash b dash uh you can do a dash b dash dash a uh, and that would do not just a full scan it will also perform an aggressive scan so you can have an idea of what services the your, your target is running what operating system it is what services are open and the more you understand your target the more you can exploit your target you can find a vulnerability because now you understand right this is a windows machine uh it's got this ports open i might then decide to look at okay these ports are open and the services are running is it running any sort of vulnerable application or vulnerable remote service or is it running a specific windows uh, operating system that might be vulnerable okay maybe it hasn't updated some certain patch. we might then try to then look at vulnerabilities that might be specific to those services or that operating system so enumeration is very key the more time you spend in this phase of understanding your target understanding the services having a look at each of the services that are running understanding exactly um like for instance the versions of the services that run they might be running an outdated version of a specific service the more you are likely to find a vulnerability all right so this is the initial step that you will conduct in your enumeration understanding the ip address first by using the net discover using nmap to understand the services or ports that are open or closed also understanding the services that are running and the and possibly the versions as well so that in a nutshell is how to use netcat all right um we can also let's clear screen we can also rather than do this if you want to scan just one single port so i can say i just want to scan port 8080 okay i don't want to scan do, do the old scan i just want to focus on a specific port you can use netcat to, uh, and map to do that as well as you can see the the, the results uh all just comes out real quick and it gives us that this is just an http proxy so you might want to scan a specific port to be sure so if i want to find out let's say for instance is port uh, 22 which is ssh is it open on this specific target uh you can see it comes back telling us port 22 is closed so you might a normal scan might just show you just the open ports alone but let's say for instance you want to confirm if a specific port has been missed or a specific port is open or closed you might just run a specific scan like we did here on that specific port number port 22 and in this case we actually see that the state of that port is closed because from our result we don't get the closed states we only see the open ports all right we only see the open port but you might want to scan a specific port number uh to know if it is open or closed like we've done here uh we also get information about the mac address so that is nmap for enumeration all right so hope that video helps thanks for watching